After Effects users, have I got an exciting update for you. After Effects Beta has an incredible new feature. You can now import animated 3D files. You can import animated GLBs and GLTFs directly into After Effects. So now things like animated characters or hard surface models like vehicles, like a helicopter, can be imported and composited directly into After Effects. The GLB and GLTF files are extremely useful because they can have baked in different like takes or animation scenes sequences. So instead of having to say import uh, different walk cycles or idols, one GLB file can have different animation sequences. These embedded animations included in the GLBs or GLTFs can also be interpolated at different speeds, which means you can slow them down as much as you want, and the interpolation is gonna be perfectly smooth, something you just can't do with footage. Another amazing aspect of these 3D files is that they can include animated 3D cameras and animated lights, so you can set up your 3D scene in something like Blender and then bring over all those necessary components components directly into After Effects. I'm extremely excited about this new feature. It unlocks so much potential for After Effects artists out there. I want you to start testing it out yourself. So I am including this new 3D animated dragon GLB file, which you can import and mess with directly in After Effects. Check the link below if you want to try it out yourself. As After Effects continues to expand its 3D capabilities, we plan to match it with new features on render crate models, including various GLB animations for all our characters and various models that we already have. We actually have a After Effects extension planned so you can directly import those GLBs right into After Effects without having to leave the software at all. That update is not quite out yet, but when it is, I will be here to tell you about it.